Sea of Thieves have released a brand new teaser trailer for the reveal event on the 27th and there is some seriously interesting stuff to take a look at. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before we get into the video, make sure to join over 400 members in the Mystic Penthouse Discord server to speak with other members of this amazing community. If you would like to join the Penthouse Suite along with so many others, visit the link in the description. If you'd also like to support the channel and myself in making more content, consider becoming a member by clicking the join button for exclusive rewards. Finally, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, it's completely free and I would love to reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers so each and every one of you can help by subscribing, liking, commenting and sharing the channel with your friends and family. The trailer first starts off showing us what looks to be in the Sea of the Damned. Now, it almost resembles uh, the tavern from the Tall Tale where we rescue Jack Sparrow from the Sea of the Damned. Now, I'm not entirely sure this is the same place. It does have some of the characteristics from there. Uh, however, it almost looks like a brand new area, perhaps in the Pirate Legend hideout or maybe somewhere where we haven't been before. Beyond that, we get what seems to be at first glance and what I'm sure many people thought was Captain Jack Sparrow. Now, I don't believe at all this is Captain Jack Sparrow. Now, I think this is part of the Athena update, which is probably in the next season, season six, what we're gonna be seeing. We're gonna be seeing an expansion to the Athena faction. Now, I think that is an incredible move and fitting in with the theme of the Athena faction and the Pirate Legend faction, I do believe this to be Belle or Bella, Belle, however you want to pronounce it. And her story is very mystified in the Sea of Thieves lore. Promotional displays and unreleased products is probably where you might recognize her. Um, there was an early version of the game uh, where we could see her sitting in what the pirate lord actually ends up sitting in in the final game um now how she will fit into the story and you know interact with us and the pirate lord is yet to be seen but i genuinely believe this is probably who this is. We then move on to us using the spirit lantern once again. This could be part of Tall Tales, however, I doubt it. I genuinely think, again, relating back to the Athena update, this is probably something to do with that. Um, I don't think we're going to be seeing any more Tall Tales, so unless they find a way of incorporating this lantern into... Uh, regular voyages that's where i think we're going to be seeing it we then look at a collection of shipwrecks now this is very interesting so i don't think this is going to be another lost shipment voyage replica um i don't think it's going to be that at all in fact i'm kind of most perplexed by this if anything i don't think um the other stuff is all too out there considering uh, the Athena update has been speculated and sought after for so long now. I think this is probably the most mystifying out of everything we see in the teaser trailer. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Moving on, this is evidently Golden Sands. This has to be Golden Sands Outpost. There's no ifs or buts. Golden Sands is very predominant it looks like it's almost fallen perhaps to the servant of the flame um and it looks like it's in some sort of green shroud and that's not the shroud from uh, the shores of gold or the, the red sea it's a different one here and it's uh almost has a green mist it's very it's very cool um, but yeah, this is definitely Golden Sands. It looks like it's fallen. We then move on to our final piece of gameplay and or new feature within the game. This is definitely within our own world. So this is in Sea of Thieves. It's a brand new area. Um, again, whether this feeds into a voyage or not, or it's a new 
um, outpost, a temporary outpost. Um, you can actually see it's lined with a bunch of cannons, so maybe we have to defend this area um, and almost hold hold the fort down. Um, it also looks like the same yellow banners which were used at Golden Sands to almost indicate that it had been taken over are actually also along the sides of this fort. So maybe it's not something that's uh, inherently ours. It may, may belong to the Servant of the Flame. Um, we don't know yet, but I'm sure more will be revealed in the actual reveal event on the 27th of January. So as it says in the trailer, make sure you do tune in on the 27th um, to the Sea of Thieves channel to take a look at what's to come. I'm very, very excited myself. Um, and I hope, I hope hit registration gets fixed.